what a day what a day what a day hi everyone it's the happy hookah justified hookah in manchester what a day for the first time in my life i've been charged with an offense which i still don't understand the nitty-gritty of it but i'll get there but yeah for the first time i have been charged with an offense so i'm just getting in touch with the right people it's to do with social media it's to do with twitter unfortunately my twitter account has been suspended because of just because of a comment i wrote on about in response to just stop oil but why have i been charged i've been charged in regards to the rugby player you know the issue with the rugby player you know you know the issue the ongo it's been an ongoing issue you know i was arrested together with him and because i commented something about him on social media obviously he lawyered up you know reported it and um you know the police are protecting him with everything that they have come on he's an elite rugby player so what do you expect but we'll see what happens in the end but yeah i have been officially charged because of two tweets all i did was express myself over what happened right here in my house with the teenage girl that's all i did express myself so it's about freedom of freedom of expression versus what will offend somebody yeah you've been charged with the offense of between first of between 14th of january yep because we were arrested on 9th of january okay multiple multiple postings you've been charged for the offense of multiple postings on social media which mounted to stalking causing mal and yardi serious alarm or distress which had adverse effects on his usual day to day he couldn't play the rugby that he wanted properly because of you he couldn't you know it caused him distress what about me what about the distress it caused me what you did in my house what about me what about me contrary to section whatever of the Pro protection from harassment act anyway we'll let the judge decide we'll, we'll let the judge decide but yeah all I did was explain the events that happened. I didn't go to Malanjadi. He came to me. He sought my services. I'm a hooker, a happy hooker, a justified hooker. He came to me, not once, not twice, on a few occasions. And the last time we met, it led to an arrest. And that arrest has now led to this. Because I was explaining on social on Twitter what happened. Okay, where were we? <laughs> where were we? Offense carry. Oh, okay. I thought you'd say the offense carries penalty points. Oops. Excuse me. Pardon me, burping. Stalking involving serious alarm. So you post anything online, it amounts to.
so in the meantime i've got somebody coming to collect his coconut oil which he was supposed to collect yesterday you know how desperate must a punter a client be to collect a quarter bottle of coconut oil this coconut oil is up to about there but then for the past two weeks he's been reminding me i left my coconut oil i said yes you did sir i left my coconut oil yes you did sir and i ain't using it it's still there safe and sound you know i mean i go in places i forget things like my lubricant my johnson's baby oil i don't start you know i just go in the shop and buy another johnson's baby oil another ky jelly another lubricant but this time this guy it's not even a watch it's not even a rolex it's not even it's just coconut oil for you know for his diy so yesterday he came over i wasn't in at six o'clock i wasn't in and well i wasn't available i was in but I, I had a client who needed privacy yeah i know it says premium coconut oil and flavored non-genetically modified is that why he's coming all that way to get back his coconut oil because it's premium i don't know but it just sounds desperate to me like how can you be that desperate and that broke and that you know it's so unattractive for a man a full-grown man to ask back for his coconut oil which is not even a full bottle it's quarter of that bottle so yes today i'm, I'm not having a bad a good day it is a bad day but the worst of it all is me being charged for posting my story which apparently caused somebody distress this is somebody an England rugby player who threatened me, death threats, but that, that didn't count to the police, who blah, 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 and blah, 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 but that didn't count to the police. It's his career. He's a rugby player. He plays rugby. You know, he's an elite rugby player. Yep. <sighs> and it took three police officers to arrest me over that tweet over the over twitter three two female and one male like whoa okay social media yeah So I'll keep you guys posted. I'll keep you updated. So please follow through. And if you want to come with me on the date, feel free. You know, I have nothing to hide, nothing to lose. There is nothing sacred anymore. This is me. You all know what happened. I put it all out there. But this that's not the reason I was suspended on Twitter. I was suspended on Twitter because I used a word ramming it in. Apparently, in America, it means shooting, but ramming it in, I meant it in a sexual way. You know, I meant it ramming it in as in, mm, mm, mm. you know, so sometimes American English and this English is different. Yeah. And I've got evidence for that. nothing is sacred anymore i've got nothing to hide nothing is sacred anymore anymore like nothing is sacred anymore 